Hey, so continue on my collection for September 5th and 12th. In between some of this was a Long Beach Comic Con, so I ended up getting a big haul, as you can probably set tower right now. I'm including my LCS stuff that I didn't pick up for like probably a month, month and a half, maybe two. And you know, my online order from DCBS. And let's see what I got here. It's a pretty big order, and let's see if I didn't go overboard, right? So here's as Guardians of the Galaxy number one. This is the baby cover. Couldn't resist getting this. Usually I can't resist baby cover, so if I get it, I usually go for it. Here's Batman 54. It's amazing that Tom King's already at age 54 issues. That is just amazing to me. I don't know. I mean, he, yeah. So here's Star Wars 53. Batman 53. I still haven't gotten started in the Superman number two or Superman Bendis run yet. So I'll probably wait until the hardcovers are out. Probably two volumes out and go from there. Here's uh, Batman number 52. Sorry for the light. It's the best I can do under the circumstances. Here's uh, Star Wars 52. Let's see, Batman number 51. Star Wars 51. And then I have here is uh, Power Rangers Volume 6, you know. I grew up with this stuff, so it's really hard to resist not getting it. Dr. Stone Volume 1. So I guess this guy wakes up from being a stone for uh, several millennia. And um, here's a little bit of the synopsis. And just, or the summary. And so I thought it was a really interesting take on it. So I decided to get it. And if I have Volume 2 or 3, maybe in the future... I really thought it was really good for myself, and uh, hopefully you get a chance. Um, Spider-Man vs. Venom. Here's the omnibus. Pretty big guy, too, to tell you the truth. So here's, uh, here's what it has. Let's see if I can get the light out of the way. It's a pretty, pretty good haul of stuff. Not sure what I was getting myself into, so I just went for it. Earth X Trilogy. Alpha. I have no clue what this is. I just wanted to do it. Try something new. You know, above everything else I'm reading. But the art's amazing. Really, really amazing. So, looking forward to one day reading that. Wedding of Cyclops and Phoenix. I have most of the X-Men stuff. So, I still wanted to get it. I don't know. It was one of those situations so let's see that's what it has here I just wanted to get it I don't know just a weird moment for me here's a uh, Trigon Toys R Us exclusive this is what I got the con you know at the con and all my Funkles from here on out let's see I also got Dead uh, Samurai Deadpool I thought it was really really cool see what else I have here something that I got multiples of bam I missed out on the first run but ended up finding three got got two of them that were not too badly damaged um, but I'm gonna take this one out of the box hopefully display it somewhere you know somewhere in the house where it's likely to be shown Here's uh, from the Nino Kuni 2. Here's Tanny. We wanted to get it and finally found it a good price at the con. Like, what, $10? No, $8. So it's pretty cool. Here's a uh, Unmasked Janet. Just like the husband. I think I got her before. So I think I got probably two or three extras. Conan O'Brien. I'm really not into any of these, but my girl liked this one. So. You know, just a peaser. I said, okay, I'll get it. Here's Soldier 76 from the Summer ex uh, Comic Con exclusive. Didn't realize I got more of these. That surprised me. Here's Asuka, Summer exclusive as well. Found that Target randomly. Here's a Porg. Really funny little chicken thing. Wonder what they taste like, right? Only Chewie would know. Here's Lord Zed. 
the numbering is just funny on this one. Coincidental or not, I don't know, but really, really funny how they number that one. Let's see here. Death. I might have gotten this one multiple times. I thought I didn't get it, and I remember, I swear, saying, hey, you know what, I'll get it next time I see it. But it turned out I did get it that time I saw it. <laughs> So it wasn't as a plan. Uh, I didn't plan it out the right way. So here's the Green Hornet specialty series. Did not expect to see that anywhere. Here's another Janet. Let's see what else here. Jack Skeleton. Diamond Edition. These sell out really fast. Really, really fast. And just hate to see them at the cons. Really overpriced from the flippers. Here's Hellboy. Got it at 10 bucks, which was really, really cool. I think I got it a little lower. I think I got it at 8 just because I got multiple pops. So I just made it a nice deal. Western Rick. Also, summer exclusive pop. Let's see what we have here. We have Tommy. Should be my second one. I'm planning to take this one out, put it next to the non Funko Dragon Zord. Let's see, Sweeperbot. Summer exclusive. Let's see what else I have here. Something I didn't expect is these gold Groots and 10th anniversary Marvel Studios. So this was pretty cool. Actually was driving and my backpack fell on top of it. So it fell on top of one at least. So it damaged this one at the corner. Not too bad. It's probably a little worse than I thought. Or I thought it was a lot worse than it actually was. So it turned out to be a good thing. <laughs> but I'm still going to take it out of the box and get another one. Here's Pickle Rick. FYA exclusive. Wasn't sure if I wanted it. Just went for it. Maybe somebody wants it later in the future if I don't want it anymore. Goldar. Should be my second one. Put it next to Tommy. Challenge him. You know, since they're best of friends and everything. Here's something I loved. Venomized Hulk. Man, these Venomized Pops are crazy expensive for some reason. Just too many flippers out there, man. Just way too many flippers trying to take advantage of, of the goodwill of a pop collector. You know, somebody who's just trying to have fun. Here's Iron Man. FYE exclusive. Saw this and I thought it was pretty cool. Since I already have another Iron Man out that's unmasked because of a damaged box, I decided to get two of those. So I'm not sure where he's at, but we'll, we'll find him. Here's Western Morty, summer exclusive, to go with the Western Rick. Here we go. Oh, well, there goes that. Let's see, Conan O'Brien. I like that one more, so I got that one for me. Let's see. Another Diamond Jag, just so I could take out one, hopefully. Let's see. Aubrey 2, which I don't know what this is for, honestly. I don't know what it's for, but it's really freaking cool. Really amazing looking pop. It's really heavy, though. Surprisingly very heavy. Let's see. Another Samurai Deadpool. There's tacos on the sword. There's another porg. One of those Captain America golden ones. Surprised the detail is getting better on these. I usually don't go for the all monochrome colors, like gold or just a single color, just because the details kind of suck. But the details on these have gotten a little bit better. See, it doesn't look that detailed, you know, but, you know, even, even without the camera, you can't, it's not as detailed, but it's a lot better than it was before. So yeah, here's the Iron Man. Here's the other one I want to take out. Let's see. Yeah, here's the other death. Unfortunately, I ended up buying two, so, oh well. Here's a Coma Do Warrior. I have no clue what this is about. I just freaking love it. I mean, 
god damn it man that was really cool pop so i had to get it let's see what else i have here cowboy the px exclusive really cool really cool i got this guy for a good price 25 bucks for a chase hellboy the horns bam so happy about that not i don't read any of the hellboy stuff but hellboy just looks really cool let's see what else i have here i have the specialty batgirl got for 10 bucks too i'm a huge batgirl fan for some reason Comes to Bad Girl Pops, I have to buy two just so I could take one out. And the other one, display it. Let's see right here. One of my homies hooked it up with one of these. This is a Power Morphicon exclusive. Just surprised me. He got into the car as we we're going to Long Beach Comic Con. And he surprised me. So this was really, really cool. Wasn't expecting this. I couldn't go to the con at the time. I was actually at an event. You know helping out you know investing you know doing the best investment in the world which is investing in other people so i was just mentoring some kid and stuff for college and so i was doing that so it's really cool not to get it not to go and still have an opportunity to get that here's gargoyles i wonder you know how if they're going to release more of these or not they're just really, really cool looking things. Really cool. And I grew up with Gargoyles when it first came out on KCAL 9. Jeez, way back when. Here's All My Weekend. Started watching his anime. I think it's freaking funny. I love it. Really love it. Uh, getting ready for the movie. Hopefully I can... Yeah, watch enough of the anime before the movie. If not, I'm just going to... You know, go in with spoilers, right? Here's Black Bolt, Lockjaw. I did not know this came out. Honestly, I kept up with majority of the con exclusive, and that came out and surprised me. Next one is this uh, Five Star Funkos. These are really cool looking things. You know, and they come with a little display box, you know, Five Star. At first, I was 50-50, then I saw it in front of me, and bam, I had to get it. Same thing with Barrel. So let's try to open this one, too. Bam. Just really cool. I remember for Christmas might be my favorite Disney movie of all time. Grew up with that, went to the theater to watch it. I just remember all that type of stuff growing up. And uh, here's a Legends series, Bishop. This guy looks really good. For me, he looks really good. Some, you know, other people might be like, you know, he looks okay. But this one looks really, really good. Really surprised. How to get Omega Red. I don't care about building the character. Really don't care. It's more for me as the character bishop in general so here's laura x23 this one was really cool i didn't expect to see the both of them at the same time you know just sucks as a wing is like distracting in the background so what it is in the bag that's what it constructs really 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 cool so that's pretty much my collection for September 5th and September 12th of 2018. And, uh, you know, I just keep collecting, collecting, and I'm going to run out of room, you know? Just bam. You know? It's really cool stuff here. All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully you liked it, and let me know if you have any questions.